Hey guys, how's it going? Tiger Croc here. And before I get started with this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're alerted for my next video on YouTube. Leave a like and share this video with everyone and post a friendly comment. So guys, we finally, finally have a new update regarding Insidious 5. So let's get started with this video. So as we know, the film a couple years ago was announced by Patrick Wilson in October 2020 that a new Insidious movie was coming out. And it was rumored to be called Insidious The Dark Realm. But that turned out to be fake but then in august 2022 when they finished filming it the movie was changed to be called insidious fear of the dark but now we have the final and official title for insidious 5 with no more changes to come and it's now officially called insidious the red door i actually do really like this title the most because it makes the most sense because the red door is the door to the further where the lipstick face demon and the bride in black and, and where all the other demons live so since this film takes place 10 years later and all their demons of their past are coming back and they live behind the red door, why not call it the red door? I think that's a really cool name and I'm glad they're calling it that. Now, sadly, we still don't have a trailer or any marketing for Insidious the Red Door as when you go on the official page for Insidious, it still is called Insidious the Last Key, so they haven't changed it yet, unfortunately. And we're now in April, which means we only have three months left to wait as Insidious the Red Door will hit theaters on Friday, July 7th this year. I'm going to be 100% honest though, guys. If we don't receive any marketing or posters or an official trailer by June 7th, I'm convinced that they will sadly delay this film. I do hope that this doesn't happen. So if this movie is not going to be delayed, then I'm going to predict by early to mid-May is, we'll, is when we will get the trailer and all the marketing. It's possible we can get a trailer this current month, but I'm predicting by the first week of May, we will see the first trailer. Now, other than this, the only other news we recently got is who dies in Insidious the Red Door, which explains which tombstone Josh, Renee, Dalton, and Foster are at, and that set photo we got back in like September of October of last year. There was a recording confirming that it's Josh's mom, Lorraine Lambert, who sadly dies. However, it's unknown how she dies, but if I had to predict, I feel like either the red-faced demon or the bride in black is going to kill her in this movie, which will be very sad. Because, like, I know she's older now, but, like, I don't believe she's old enough to die, so I'm guessing if she dies, it's either cancer or one of the demons from their past kills her, unfortunately. Now, in terms of plot, all we know is that Dalton is a man in this film, and he is taken to an idyllic covered university by his father, but his college dream becomes a nightmare when all of a sudden the demons of their past suddenly return to haunt them both. And they have to deal with the consequences of their choices and that this film takes place 10 years later after insidious and insidious chapter 2. and now guys patrick wilson as we know won't just reprise his role as josh lambert he will also be directing this film and this is the first time he's directing a film so i'm very excited to see how good of a job he'll do i'm pretty sure he'll do amazing because he's very passionate about the series now it's still unknown if elise bex tucker and carl will return but i do think they will because this movie won't feel the same without them plus elise came back as a ghost to help dalton and josh out in insidious chapter 2 so that's probably what will happen in insidious the red door however guys other than this we don't have any more news on insidious the red door so i do apologize for not making a video with this for a long time it's just that we're not really getting much news on this film unfortunately so as we, as we know, we've only been given very little information about the film, but I do believe that the red-faced demon and the bride in black will return. The plot didn't just say the demon of, jo of Dalton's past will return, it said the demons of both Josh and Dalton's past will return to haunt them both. So I'm pretty sure all the demons we saw in Insidious 1 and 2 will return, as well as a new demon as well, because every, every Insidious film introduces us to a new demon. So besides the demons of the Lambert's past, we can probably also look forward to seeing a brand new demon in this film. And, and again, the demons in, the, in this franchise are very creative. Like look at Keyface, the man who can't breathe, the red face demon and the bride in black. We, like, we always get an epic new demon in each movie. So that's why I'm very convinced Insidious the Red Door, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a new demon as well. And again, like, as I said, the demons of this franchise are the scariest fucking demons I've ever seen before, man. And I, I really do hope that this movie will be amazing because Insidious 3 and 4, like, they're good, but they're not nearly as good as Insidious 1 and Insidious Chapter 2. I'm hoping this film can be the longest Insidious film as well. And yes, I know the red-faced demon appears in Insidious 3 and 4, but here's the thing. He only had, like, a jump scare cameo in Insidious 3 and 4, and I'm hoping for another entire movie with this motherfucker because he's the best demon in the franchise and the scariest one, and, of course, the most powerful one as well. Like, Joseph Bashar does such a great job playing that character. He really does. And the other thing is, too, we haven't seen the red-faced demon for a big role since the very first movie, so I think it's only fair he finally comes back for a big role at least one last time in Insidious the Red Door. 
because if i had to predict maybe it's possible that they're going to defeat him for good in this movie and if that's the case i really hope that he puts up a great fight and gets lots of screen time before they kill him off for good this time i'm also hoping that this movie will also have the bride in black return for a big role too because we haven't seen that since insidious chapter 2 like yes i know parker crane the bride in black was in insidious 3 but he only had like you know a cameo to small role at best in insidious 3 so like we haven't seen him for a big role since insidious 2 i'm also hoping for another entire movie with him too because again like it, just imagine how cool it would be to see the red face demon and parker crane work together to try to kill the lambert family that would be like, like not only would that make the movie scarier that also make it more intimidating because look how hard it was to defeat them just by themselves so imagine imagine them teaming up the lambert family are gonna have a really fucking hard time defeating them if they decide to team up in this movie that's all i'm gonna say which would be very awesome and plus again if parker crane's in this movie we're definitely gonna see him taking over josh's body again because every time he appears with josh he takes over his body he did it in insidious one and he did it in Insidious 2, which means that if he returns in this movie with Josh again, he's definitely going to possess him. And then once he possesses him, he's going to try to kill the Lambert family once again, like we saw in Insidious Chapter 2. But anyways, guys, once we get more news on Insidious, uh, the Red Door, and like the trailer for it, I promise to make an, a, a video about it immediately. Because like, like, honestly, guys, I'm counting down the seconds to this movie. I am so excited because Insidious is fucking awesome. I really do think that it's a very underrated horror movie franchise. And the thing is, too, like, not only is Insidious my favorite because it's the scariest, fun fact, Insidious is actually what got me into horror movies 10, 11 years ago when I was a kid. Like, this is what, like, if it weren't for Insidious, I feel like I wouldn't really be into horror movies. Insidious is what got me into horror movies, so that's why it's always been my favorite horror movie franchise to this day. And because the demons are insanely scary in this movie, as I said. But anyways, what are all your thoughts on this, guys? Do you like the title, The Red Door, or did you prefer The Dark Realm or Fear of the Dark? Also, guys, when do you think the trailer will drop for this movie? Because my final prediction on when the trailer will drop, I really do think that it's going to drop the first week in May, second week of May at the latest. Because again, if this trailer doesn't come out by the first week of June, I'm convinced they're going to delay this movie. And I really hope that's not the case because we've already waited three years for this movie. Well, technically longer, but like, again, it wasn't confirmed until October 2020. So it's been almost three years since we waited, since they confirmed it. So I, I think it's about time we finally get to see what Patrick Wilson has been cooking up for this movie because we've waited a very long time. But anyways, guys, tell me all your thoughts and theories on Insidious the Red Door and which demons you think will return in the comments down below.